Hey guys, we're back with the Rhinoed Chaos again. But with one little addition. This little knob here, which is the potentiometer of a PWM, which is a pulse width modulator, which is fun to talk about. You talk about a pulse width modulator at school or at work, and people think you're some kind of engineer and probably want you to fix things. But here, this is going to control the rate of fire on the conveyor through the uh, Rhino pusher we added because as I showed in the last video, that's almost a little ridiculous, the rate of fire you get out of the, the Rhino or even a Hellcat pusher. And so sometimes it'd be nice to just dial it back a little bit or dial it up a little bit, depending on you know who you're playing with. We play it uh, at a, a business, a, an arena business, kind of like Dark Wars. Um, and quite often there's littler kids running around and it's not very much fun when you can just totally skunk the heck out of them with this thing. And so, you know, for the sake of sportsmanship, it'd be nice to bring it down just a little bit. So we're going to start at the bottom, which is at pretty much at zero, and run through and progressively increase and show just the variability in the rate of fire you can get out of this PWM. <laughs> back down to the bottom again. So, not super practical, not necessarily for everybody, but it was pretty necessary for our application and how we use it at the arena. But more just more of a um, proof of concept, I guess. And I actually really like it because the rate of fire was just a little too much, but I don't didn't want to have to deal with, you know, adding resistors or diodes or whatever and try to slowly bring it down. This is just a lot easier to, once you figure out a spot you like, put a little mark somewhere so you can just be like, boom, kill the kids, or tone it down a little bit, or even technically it works as kind of an off switch when it's all the way down, it doesn't send any power to it. That way you're not misfiring if you're, you know, just handling it or testing things or whatever. So, there you have it. That's. Uh, because I told you I was going to play with it and check out the PWM and stuff like that, and I'm a man of my word. Um, even considering one of those uh, speed controllers or a PWM, then we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you posted. That's where it is. So, thanks for watching.